Hi, I'm Paula Fowler with the Danville Boyle County Chamber of Commerce and I'm here today with Aaron Tipton, the Campus Director for our Bluegrass Community and Technical College here in Danville. Hi Aaron. Hi Paula. Great to see you. Thank you. Uh, we're excited today to learn all about the many programs and services and opportunities that people have right here in Danville with our Bluegrass Community and Technical College. Share with me. Well, we are a comprehensive community and technical college. Um, the campus first opened its doors in 2002 with an enrollment of a little over 200 students. We now have over 1,700 students as of this fall. Um, the programs that we offer are uh, associate in arts and associate in science degrees. Those are degrees that students will take with us for the first year or two and then transfer on to our regional colleges and universities. Uh, we also have many technical programs at the Danville campus. Um, those include practical nursing. We also have many in the manufacturing areas, such as industrial maintenance, machine tool technology, welding, electrical. Um, we also have medical information technology, which is kind of the administrative side of the medical field, uh, phlebotomy, and we do a lot of nurse aid training. Wow, lots of things going on here that people can take advantage of. Now you mentioned the associate degree program. Share with me a little bit about uh, what I've heard passed here recently, this new 2 plus 2 transfer. Yes, um, it's very exciting for students um, it, because it gives them a more economical way to go about getting a bachelor's degree. So uh, we have agreements with um, all of the state colleges and universities. The two biggest transfer institutions for BCTC are Eastern Kentucky University and the University of Kentucky. So it would allow students to stay close to home for the first two years um, and then transfer. Um, these transfer agreements offer huge tuition benefits to the students. Um, just to highlight, I'll highlight the two, the one first with Eastern. Students who come to BCTC and take 24 credit hours with us um, and maintain a 3.25 GPA when they decide to transfer to Eastern, then they pay half of Eastern's tuition for the remainder of their time there. Wow. So that's incredible tuition breaks for students. Um, UK is a little bit different. Um, theirs is called the Trustee Scholarship, and they will offer huge tuition breaks to students based on GPA when they transfer to the University of Kentucky. So it's very exciting, and I, we have, our enrollment growth, a lot of that has come from um, having these partnerships set up with these major colleges and universities. Students, um, for economic reasons, want to come to us first and then finish up their last couple years at the, the four-year colleges and universities. That's amazing growth. In just over 10 years, you've gone from just over 200 to now over 1,700. Yes. What's your population look like? The student population is very diverse. Um, we, of course, are seeing a lot of the 18, 19 high, recent high school graduates who are coming to us uh, to take advantage of the tuition benefits or to um, get a skill set in one of our technical programs. But we also are seeing a lot of students who are returning um, to college after being out of high school. They're uh, individuals in our local and regional communities who may have lost their jobs recently due to the economy. I mean, they're coming back to get a skill set um, in another field. So our average student age is around 29. So when you take all the averages, we've got a, a good mixture of our what we call traditional age, the 18 to 20 year old. But then we have a very um, large population of students who are in their 40s, 50s, and even 60s. So for somebody coming back to school and they've been out for a while, do you have special programs that you can help them get back up to speed with their math skills and other things that they need help in? We do. Um, and students who um, were open admission college, so we uh, admit everyone who applies and we try to work with them where they are. Um, so we have our adult education program, which is now part of the college. Um, and for students who may not have um, completed their GED or graduated from high school, we have that whole center that will work with that student. Uh, we also provide Compass, um, that's our placement test for students coming into college to kind of assess and gauge where they are. Um, but we will work with them in developmental, helping them get back up to speed with math, English, or reading. Um, so there's lots of different programs um, that we have that we can help that type of student. So anybody that thinks they have barriers to coming back to school really can be at ease in coming here and getting all the help they need. They can. I mean, that's what a community and technical college does, and I think we do a really, really good job at the Danville campus of assisting those students and, and helping them just do some extra um, counseling and 
uh, career types of inventories. We can even do those with someone who's a very uncertain with what they want to do when they come back. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a financial aid office who will help students with finances, whether they think they can't afford college. Anyone that wants to go to college can come to college. Um, so we do a really good job with that as well. And there's lots of one-on-one -on -one attention in the area of financial aid for students who might have questions about whether they can afford college. Sounds like a wonderful opportunity for a lot of people. The other thing I wanted to highlight, um, you can work with our manufacturing group, particularly when we have unfortunate incidents where something shuts down, and really respond to help a lot of the people that need to come back to school in a hurry. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, we are part BCTC as a college and then lo here locally in Danville. We're part of the rapid response team that uh, you know very well. Um, so we actually recently with some plant closures have gone out um, for several days to meet with employees and again provide that extra support to um, those individuals who may be losing their job and are uncertain if they need to look for another job or if they want to come back to school. Wonderful. Tell me a little bit about your Opportunity College. Another great program. Um, it's a program where high school juniors and seniors can start to take college classes and receive credit um, while they're still in high school. So um, we have a large population of students, not just from our local community, but our surrounding counties like Garrett, Lincoln, and Mercer, and Casey, who will start taking classes as high school um, students and the great thing with Opportunity College is that they take those classes and only pay half the tuition of the normal uh, college tuition. So uh, a typical class at BCTC is a little under $300. So those students are only paying half that and receiving full college credit, which will allow that will transfer if they decide not to come to BCTC or if they decide to go anywhere else. Um, it'll it'll transfer with them to the uh, public colleges and universities um, here in Kentucky. Wow, so they really can save some money and get at least three or four classes mm -hmm. out of the way before they even go to college. Right, and another part of Opportunity College is our whole dual credit um, piece, and that is where students are getting college credit for technical classes they're taking either at one of the area technology centers or at the high school level uh, so that uh, students don't have to repeat those classes when they get here should they pursue a technical program of study and those classes are totally free. Students do not pay tuition for those classes at all as high school students. Okay, Erin, tell me about the online opportunities here. Um, online learning has been a huge um, area of growth for us as a college um, and we are seeing lots of students taking advantage of the flexibility with online learning. Many of our students are working full time and juggling jobs, family, kids. Uh, so providing online learning opportunities is, is really great for them and uh, allows them to access higher education. Um, the online enrollment growth as a college, we've grown over 200% uh, with online course opportunities. We've expanded the number of online um, classes and sections um, dramatically over the last several years. So it's definitely an area that will continue to grow. Um, the one other type of online learning opportunity that has provided a lot of growth also is the hybrid um, opportunities. Students can take the class um, actually partially online and some partially in person. Um, that gives them some face-to-face -face contact with faculty but also um, provides a lot of flexibility. Now I have another question. What if someone really has limited access with a home computer? They could go to a library, they could go here on campus. Can they come here and take opportunities of your computers to do an online class that might be offered somewhere else? They certainly can, and a lot of students do that. They will come in our computer labs and um, spend the day on campus working on their online classes because of access issues either at home or just they like our computers uh, better. Uh, they also will access the computers in the library and other community areas. So there's no reason someone can't be taking a college course if they choose to. That's correct. Erin, thank you so much for your time and for all this great information. I know that people watching this will have an exciting chance to see where they might fit into the future of uh, Bluegrass Community Technical College. Well, thank you, Paula. I appreciate it.